Hey, what's up guys? This is t here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the second Christmas event hero that you'll be able to obtain, and that is Lucy. I'm going to talk about uh, her skills and also, um, you know, how she can be used, whether she's going to be good or not on her own, or whether you should just consider using her as a fusion for the new hero, uh, Mrs. Claus. Uh, in order to obtain her, you do need to ascend heroes uh, to four star, five star, or six stars. And if you have cauldrons, you can also use them to gain additional points. Uh, score a total of 42 points, you'll be able to get Lucy. And the rewards are uh, pretty good along the way as well. So I think it's definitely worth going after. And what I want to do specifically is I, I do want to talk about the new status that was introduced with Lucy. So you may not know what it is. You may not know how it works. I'm going to talk about it and that is going to be status block. So status block, um, you can't really see a good description of it anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump into a fight right now. And we're going to go up against Haran. And that's actually a perfect boss to show this because Haran is known to do the following. So when you look at abilities, there's a chance that it could do the following. Increased resistance, fortify, board king, reflect, mana, breath, and color master. Six boosts, okay, for nine turns at the beginning of the turn. So... What we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, do, do, do a fight here. And then we're going to uh, talk about what that skill is. I'm going to talk about what I think about it. And then, um, you know, the mo most important thing is just to help you understand uh, what it does. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to just focus on getting my light gem matches right now. And what we're going to hope for is for Haran to try to activate his skill and we're going actually we need to get uh, Lucy to actually um, activate her skill and what we're going to see here is that we're going to be able to uh, get her skill set up and then we're going to go ahead and activate all right and so now you can see status block is on this is now where you can see a skill so you press on on the dragon uh, you'll see the stat that status status block you cannot be affected by positive statuses okay and so this particular uh, new status uh, just like immunity where you can apply to yourself uh, the enemy will not be able to apply negative status on you well now you have status block where the enemy will not be able to put any positive status on themselves this is actually a really strong and a really 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 cool uh, status because uh, if you're up against uh, enemies that typically would that typically would you know be uh you know buff focused in that uh you know their strength comes from buffing themselves a lot well now what you've got is you've got this ability to just block them from doing so and so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and um see what happens here let's take a look at how it's about to attack and so you can see first it does the stats and you can see two blocks coming up right so this is where Haron was going to actually you know activate uh, skills and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, let him try once more and we should be able to survive uh, this attack but I want to see if I can get like up to six statuses right so you can see just again just the two blocks there um, but it's really cool to see when you see up to uh, up to six statuses being blocked uh, by uh, by the skill here. So, right? so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of uh, heal Martin a little bit more and we're going to go ahead and also get Lucy's status again. So uh, it is down to just one turn. And so we're going to uh, try to bring up, but as you can see, it does get resisted still. Uh, Lucy has, let's see, I have her uh, accuracy at 190. It still isn't a guarantee. And so you can see how difficult it is uh, to, to get it in there. But now that we have the status block again, let's see if we can probably hopefully get, um, let's see if we can hopefully get more than two status blocks here. So let's see what happens. Uh, so um, again, it's just the two. So you know, uh, I can't get, get get more than two right here, but you can see the point here. The point here is um, you cannot get any positive stats. So for some, you know, a hero like Haran, who really gains most of his uh, bonus from uh, from all of the boosts that he gets, this is a really effective way uh, to uh, basically weaken him compared to bringing in like, you know, a dispeller or a, a curse type uh, mechanics. 
you don't have to waste time trying to uh, knock it down because like if you get, if you bring in like uh, Lilith for example you can probably bring down three at most at one time uh, or you can use uh, you know curse to try to knock them down but this just prevents it completely so if you're able to get the status in you're going to be able to just prevent your enemies from using this uh, at all okay so we're gonna go ahead and end this and then we're gonna talk about um, other applications of her Okay, so I showed you how to use Lucy against the uh, you know the purple raid boss against a single enemy. She does shine really well because there's no way to dispel, and you prevent Harum from being able to use the positive status, which will really help out in the long term. It is uh, unfortunate that she is a yellow hero, so she does take extra damage from Harum. So it is going to be tough against a five star and six star boss, but it should work against a four star boss no problem when you love her to five stars now let's also talk about some of the other weaknesses that she has so against a hero like guinevere who does dispels well her you know her negative status isn't going to be that um that useful if the opponents have you know one of their first uh, heroes if one of the first things they do is a dispel then you're not really going to be able to benefit from that at all and then uh, the other thing is when you're up, up against a hero that applies positive status to all allies such as aurora well you can only debuff one hero you can't debuff multiple and so you're gonna have to really pick and choose who you would actually try to um you know who you want to uh, you know place the negative status on in order to take the most uh, you know in order to benefit the most from it in this particular team for example from Babu I would probably still pick Aurora as the first one because she does deal a lot of damage and she, and also uh, Gladiosa but Gladiosa is at level 50 right now whereas Aurora is at 60 and her her attack will be a lot stronger so shoot her and uh, maybe Logan uh, would be would be um you know the the units i want to uh, block because then i can block the attack boost so that's an example of like some of the weaknesses and things to think about when you want to use her skill now let's quickly take a look at the loadout for lucy um she's an assassin type so her attack is supposed to be pretty high and if you see if you take a look at her skill it is based on uh, uh you know attack based on enemy and also increase uh, ignores defense and as well if you are against an enemy that has uh increased defense or protect protective shield her damage does go up so if you have really high uh, critical damage if you have really high attack and uh, sufficient crit rate then you could just use her as an attack uh, attacker like that that could be one way to play her but you can see here at level 50 I, I i simply cannot get enough damage out of her uh you know against high level opponents and so instead i think the better value i gain here is to increase her accuracy value so right now it's 190. if you take a look at my set info i'm using mystic which gives me 30 percent accuracy plus speed if i have a 4p set or i can and also i added a cursed here for every two i get 30 accuracy ideally if i had all six uh, uh you know all three sets of cursed i would gain additional 30 percent accuracy i also have in here a uh, accuracy armor because i feel that right now at level 50 given where i want her to be her her skill actually is more effective for me more valuable because the status block against a single enemy is just really really strong and so I think she's she's also going to be pretty good against some of the rift bosses. Uh, so I'm not thinking of her right now as just a pure attacker, like a damage dealer. I'm thinking of her more as a debuffer. But given that she is an assassin type, there as at, at uh, six stars, I think I'll be able to play around uh, with different equipment and maybe adjust it a little bit so I can still get her benefit while getting the attack in here. So that's that's basically my take on Lucy. I think that she is a pretty interesting character to play with the new status. Definitely something very different. Brings a, a new level of um, you know sort of strategy to the playing field. So let me know what you think, guys. This is going to be it for me for tonight. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, have you tried Lucy? How do you build her out, and where do you use her? most love to hear your comments and feedback let me know below and also this is going to be my last video before the new year so uh, so happy new year everybody uh have a good uh you know hope you had a great 2021 and uh let's welcome 2022 and hopefully it's going to be a great year thanks everybody for uh, for watching see you in the new year and i'll see you in the next episode take care bye now